selling dinners and then I came up with um, making this crab egg roll because mm -hmm. I heard everybody talking about crab egg rolls, crab egg rolls. Like that was the bomb. Right. So I was like, well, let me try to make one. Mm -hmm. So I started making the crab egg rolls and then from there, I mean, I just blew up and then I started adding on to my egg rolls. So I make the lamb egg roll, the chicken egg roll, the buffalo egg roll, the Philly shrimp egg roll, the salmon egg roll. The Reuben egg roll. Oh my! Right. Now tell me what's in the Reuben egg roll. So I Reuben, know a Reuben sandwich is the bomb. Right. But tell me what's in the so egg it, roll. So it, it literally tastes like um, a Reuben sandwich inside of an egg roll. It has um, fresh corned beef. It has um, sauerkraut and it has cheese. And then I made like this sauce, this dipping sauce to dip mm -hmm. your egg roll in that kind of give you all types of blasters in your mouth or flavors. The yes. It yeah, is. that's all I hear. I'm telling you, up and down my feet, all I see is Star's Kitchen. Real quick, I mean, I'm letting y'all know I'm not neglecting anyone. I see y'all here. We just want to get into Star's um, restaurant right now for our interview. Shakita, good morning. Janelle, hey cousin, good morning. Shakita said, what y'all talking about today? Of course, we got Post in the group, but we're going to get to them after our interview with this young black entrepreneur, female right here. Um... Cousin Kathy, good morning, honey. David, grand rising, sir. Uh, and I'm sorry, y'all I'm all over the place this morning. This, I'm telling you, so with some egg rolls in the building, they smell delicious, and they got me excited. Um, Cousin Kathy, good morning, Peggy. How you feeling? David said, put the name of her spot in the chat. Okay, well, no problem. I'm going right in there right now in this same live, and I'm going to put Star's Kitchen. 
There you go. It's dropped in the link. Also, um, start going to tell us more about her business, and then we're going to show y'all the delectable egg rolls, a few of them that she has here. Come on, go ahead. Finish, finish talking to us, though. So, yeah. So, I came up with the egg rolls, and I make pasta. I make loaded potatoes, loaded salad. <laughs> um... All types of things, and I have so much more things coming soon to be dry. I'm sorry. I was trying to get the sound off so it don't look rude. I'm listening to you now. Yeah, so, um, yeah. Um, Onika West, good morning. Onika said, um, good morning. Your food is delicious. Thank you. Um, Bunny, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Hey, my favorite radio on, I'm Bunny. Of course, we love on Bunny tuning in. So, we're going to get into... What these egg rolls look like? Hey, How v, about that? V, yeah, I, I got something special for Aunt Bunny. What you got special for Aunt Bunny? Aunt Bunny, I want you to go to Star's Kitchen and get something to eat. Once you place your order, have Star call me. I'm cash app and Star. I'm paying for your food, Aunt Bunny. That's Aunt Bunny. That's your birthday present, Aunt Bunny. Yes. Rock is putting your order in and paying for it. You just gotta come in town and get it. And get it. There we go. They David, deliver. I can't cover the delivery fee, too. <laughs> David said he on his way in the building to get a roll now. I'm also on Uber Eats. And it's I'm waiting for my awesome. DoorDash and um, Grubhub. Um, so y'all don't even got to wait on Bunny. You can order it from home and Rock pay for it. So Rock, you be ready to pay the I, bill no matter where she live. Mark well, Stevenson, good morning. How are you? My credit good with Star. She know I got oh. it. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Did I have to open this up? Y'all don't want... Y'all ready, ready to see this? Jesus. The smell... Is awesome. These are the egg rolls. It feel like it weigh a ton. It so is. she's not skimming you on none of the food. So the egg rolls that we have, tell us what we have in here. So we have buffalo and we have crab egg rolls. So your egg rolls come, you can get them with this many egg rolls like this. Filling. Right. Mm -hmm. And what, what would this so, order be called? A sampler. But I didn't give you a sampler of all of them. Yeah. Okay. So tell us what we have here. So you have buffalo and you have crab. Buffalo and crab. Oh my goodness, they packed to capacity. I think y'all want to try. Y'all want to just hear like if it crisp. I see so many people on YouTube try food and then they they look weird. So I don't we take the crab home. Try the buffalo. Take the crab home. She got enough crab over here to, to take home and oh try goodness. the buffalo. And then Onika over here but saying the food is a bomb. It hey is. Chris, good morning. So hey cousin Tamika, good morning. Teresa said, oh my God, it looks delicious. It, Tamika, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let y'all see. Oh, look how big it is. Yes. And it got the love sauce. It ain't no, oh, yeah, that's the love sauce one. And this is crab with love sauce is what she calling it on the, on the crab. Because I made it with love. Hello, say it again. How you make it? I made it with love. Y'all hear that, folks? Yeah. Look at that. This thing is, this is big. This is big. Let's see. And that's a half of an egg roll. And this yeah. is only half that's of only an egg roll. That's a half of an egg roll. And that half will have you full. Yeah. Just one half. Let's see. Let me get into it. Let me just show you. Everybody, you, you got to dip it, too. Oh, I got to dip. Yeah, she gave you dipping sauce. I got the love sauce on top and on the side, folks. This is about to go down. Nicole, good morning. We try egg rolls from Star's Kitchen. Again, that's Star's Kitchen. Locate, give me your address, Star. 1501 Edison Highway. 1501 Edison Highway. Her hours are 4 to... 4.30 to 12.30. 4.30 to 12.30. What days of the week? Tuesday through Wednesday, and on Fridays and Saturdays, I'm open from 4.30 to 2 a.m., and every, I'm open every other Sunday, so I just open this Sunday, so next, this Sunday coming, I'm closed. Okay, so the, um, the 13th, you'll close, but then the following Sunday, you'll be open. Right, correct. So y'all want your egg rolls, and you said more than egg rolls, so yeah. it's not just limited to egg rolls. But I couldn't bring my whole menu, because I would be sick. David said, bet, damn, closed on Monday. David, yeah, if you was in the building dad. today, this, this is cramping my finger holding it, y'all. I have to I have to try it. Let me get the love sauce. Let me get some love sauce. I just like the name of it. I like the name of the sauce. Alright, let's see. Let's Before y'all know it, y'all want to open it's so big. It's so big, I don't feel comfortable Girl, eating got, this or not. But I gotta let y'all know what it's like right off the rip. <laughs> But it's this girl said, wrap your mouth around it. She is inappropriate. <laughs> she is inappropriate. Hey, Cousin Keith, good morning. Cousin Keith, we try egg rolls from Star's Kitchen. Star, she can't keep still, Cousin Keith. Turn, turn to me just a little bit. All right, Cousin, so you can see her, Cousin uh, Keith. She's here. Hey. She's in the building. Anybody up there on Facebook, you see her live and clear. 
We great try to add rolls from Stars Kitchen lo located on Edison Highway. Yeah, 1501. DoorDash, Uber Eats, she got it. You want it, she got it. Here we go. Good. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. The first time in life, Miss V is speechless. <laughs> no. I ain't never seen them shut up. Cause you call me. Good morning, Aisha. Good morning. I'm so sorry, y'all. I said this thing is like a crab cake, like a jumbled up crab cake shoved inside. Look at the crab meat. You should be able to feel the crab meat. Can y'all see it? Can y'all see the capacity of this? It's no filling in it or anything. So it's straight crab meat. This thing is delicious. I almost choked it, and I want another bite, but I don't want everybody looking at me. Wrap my mouth around it, but I, I'm sorry, y'all. Let me get some <laughs> Y'all, oh my God. Look at me, I'm going to cry because some of my crab came out. Look, I'm just going to go ahead and get it out right off the sauce. I'm just, mm -hmm. y'all. Patty Eddie, got to try Star egg rolls. Lovely Tori, she is putting your food to shame, lovely Tori. You, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I, I got to told you, I got to told you, Sharon, how she doing it. Y'all, one more bite, then we're going to get back. Mm -hmm. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. <laughs> That's the amount of crab mm -hmm. that you take. And if you go to any other restaurant you, and you get a crab egg roll, you're not going to get it like that. So you'll pay $30 for four egg rolls with no fries and with a little bit of crab meat. Because I've, I've, I have been sampling different people. Um, Crab cake egg right, that's how you make sure you know just And I've been front. going around to the top restaurants, and I'm just like, oh my goodness, and the sauces that they use. This love sauce is a bomb. I don't, I don't want to stop because it's rude to chew in front of people. But y'all, let me do it one more time. Then I'm a. And Ms. V, why you you chewing on it? Can I say something? Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. you know, everybody, mm -hmm. every household mm -hmm. nowadays have an air fryer in it, right? Mm -hmm. I went to Star's Kitchen. And I got the sampler because I couldn't make up my mind what I wanted, right? Mm -hmm. I got home, and I, remember, I said, ain't no way in hell I'm going to be able to eat this. It took me a week to eat it, right? Are you serious, Rock? It took me... Rock came in here so many times talking yes. about the air go, Rock, if you don't go in and finish. <laughs> if you don't go in and finish. Listen. Mind you, never brought none in the building. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to lick my fingers. Hey, hey, Ashley. That was for me. I'm sorry. That's all I got to load a potato. That's my fault. Not the big boy. My father got the little one and it took him and three days. He still couldn't finish. Ashley it said, took him three days. What is in this shit? Ashley, let me show you again, Ashley. And I'm going to tell you, for all of y'all that have an air fryer. Go ahead. If you get the egg rolls from Star, right? Mm -hmm. You're not going to, you're not, it's not possible for you to eat it in one day. I'm just telling you, it's not possible. Right. But you put it in the air I fryer. had a half, a, I had a half an egg roll. Yeah. And you'll be full off of a half, off, half yeah. I'm not even finished the half. So Ashley said, what's in it? So Ashley, this, we have on this tray, she has. Crab mm -hmm. and, and buffalo. buffalo. So they come in a multiple. Oh, she has a multiple array of. Hey, kid, kid. Um, she has a multiple amount of different um recipes for her egg rolls. But I just we wanted to just give you a look. Let me put it up in the camera to let y'all see how they come. Yeah. Dressed up, ready with dipping sauce on it and on the side. Kia, oh my gosh, Kia. Look good is not the place. And the th and the thing is, the crazy thing is, I love that you're open in the evening. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because so many places now, through the COVID shutdown, they close at like 7 o'clock, 6.15, 6.30, like dumb hours. Mm -hmm. But y'all open late. Yeah. So that means get your drink going, run past stars, grab your egg rolls, you just be in the building. The yeah. There you go. Yeah, you be in the I building. Saying, man, this tray is heavy. I can't even hold the tray, y'all. I'm telling you. I, I can't hold the tray. The I want to keep eating, but I can't eat while I'm talking. Oh, my God. Yeah. Star, you have a hit. I want to just tell you, I mean, not just that I love, um, I can't keep Star still, y'all. She just keeps swinging. And I know, I can't, y'all. I, I can't know, keep so just, still. just turn it up. Get excited, being excited. <laughs> being black, having your own thing is a big freaking deal. It is. It's a big freaking deal. So and I worked hard. So when you first, just tell us, I was going to say, tell us how you got to, because you didn't just wake up one day, have money banked up and went in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. How did you build up to being in a restaurant? I saved my money from working from home. Mm -hmm. I hustled from home. And I told myself, while I'm doing this, I didn't spend none of my money. Awesome. 
Like I only. What's well, a blessing it. to be able to right. just bank? And I was spend. I only spent it to buy re up on my food. Okay. And so I was like, I'm a hustle out my house until I'm able to afford to get me a carry out. Right. And that's what I did. Awesome. I did everything I was supposed to do. I ain't telling nobody what I was doing. Nobody. That's a lot of times. That's nobody. what hinders people. Nobody. Telling somebody, even people going to um, say rude things mm-hmm. or they, they just want to yeah, cut they you off. It's yeah. going to be something. Mm-hmm. It's going to be some reason why yeah, it ain't so. going to work out. Cause the only person I told to was my mother and my husband. That was it. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So you went from, I'm hustling at the house, I'm making these dinners, I'm selling mm-hmm. these dinners. Were you delivering when you were home yeah, also? Yeah, uh-huh. I had people delivering for me. My husband delivered for me. Uh-huh. Um, my friend Vanessa, she helped me out. She, she really helped me out. 100 with the arm strong. Yeah, I mean, she, she really got going on. And people are proud of that. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. So now that you're in the store, did, did, did your um, pace of business change or are you still like you still get because these yeah, are still, awesome i can't it's still see the how same way like, and yeah. i actually have been picking up more clientele awesome yeah awesome so it's been great you know of course i have my slow, slow days no uh-huh. business is always going to be booming at 24 7 all day long right right but right for the most part i'm satisfied you know that's I really awesome am. that's awesome i just want to commend you and what you want to show just being a black female alone um i have a thing everybody always say, always rooting for the women because black women have a tendency to lack mm-hmm. in a lot of places of getting their own and we're going to talk more about it tomorrow but i just want to say briefly it's nothing like having your own and still being married see notice what she said y'all she married mm-hmm. and still hustle and her husband helped her along the way mm-hmm. she didn't tell her husband i'm the big dog i got the money and treated yeah. him bad he worked and he came home and he helped his wife mm-hmm. and he then worked. his wife exactly yeah. that's what i'm saying that's the point i'm trying to make um and it'll be more on that show we tomorrow, did it together but, like yeah. anything that i wanted to do as far as Thor's kitchen he always support me 100 percent. like that's my number one fan so he always got my back that's my ride to die we've been together since we were 16 so yeah ain't he in the kitchen v yeah he in the kitchen slinging flour with him. And I love that. I love that. They ain't doing it apart. No per- nobody making more money than the next one. Um, Tamika said, are there any non-seafood egg rolls? Yes, Tamika. Yeah, we gonna, I don't even need We're going to get right back to that again. So, Star, tell us again how, see, I can't get her to keep still. David is sending messages saying, the group camera can't see you, but the Facebook live camera can. So, can you come on over here? Don't be scared okay. of me, so I know I smell like crab now. <laughs> Don't be scared. There we go. There she is. Look, y'all. Ta-da. All right, so start telling them. Keep still. Right. She can't keep still. I can y'all. Tell them the type of egg rolls you have. That's what Tamika want to know. Okay, so I have lamb egg rolls. I have crab egg rolls. I have buffalo egg rolls. I have salmon egg rolls. I have... Um, Philly chicken and shrimp egg rolls. I have Philly steak and shrimp egg rolls. But all the egg rolls, you don't have to get shrimp. You can say you don't want shrimp. So um, that's optional. Okay, so they yeah. not like pre-rolled like no, the Chinese curry out. It's pre-rolled. Awesome. Not everything is fresh. Everything. So when I come in and I say I want a crab egg roll, but I don't want shrimp in it. Right. You're not gonna get it because I'm gonna roll it right there. Awesome. The See, table. now that's another difference. A lot of places. Make their egg rolls as you order it. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, here go this kind. Here go this kind. You can't. You can't substitute anything. You can't no. take anything out. Mm-hmm. So with the Reuben Craig roll. Tell me what's in the Reuben. In the Reuben, it's fresh corned beef, and it's sauerkraut and cheese. Then I have like this sauce that you dip it in. Mm-hmm. It kind of reminds you of mustard, but it's not like mustard. Well, it's. I do put a little bit mustard in it. Well, we ain't gonna tell all your ingredients. Oh no, I'm not gonna tell all my ingredients. Okay, there you go. But it. It, it gives you, like, this, it's it's really good. It, it really goes with the Reuben. Like I want to try the sauces. Reuben, but I don't, I'm not a sauerkraut person. Okay, but so it's I not, that with my, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's um, not overpowered. Okay, that sounds brown. good. Um, Bunny said, it looks delicious. Nicole said, I need you to um, save me one, DJ Rock. Don't eat mine. Hey, um, Nicole, Rock ain't even getting none. These is, these is, this is mine. Um, cousin Calvin said, what's happening, cuz? K hey, cousin. Rodney Pierce said, I don't, I know you have a mouth to match the attitude. Open wide. Leave me alone, Rodney Pierce. I did <laughs> open it and I tasted it, but it just felt inappropriate on the camera. And on Bunny was watching. Um, 
But um, Bunny said congratulations and continue Thank on you, your Bunny. success. Janika said, um, I guess Janika is just saying good morning. Um, Bunny said they are equally yoked, equally yoked working work towards the same things. goal. That's mm -hmm. awesome. And that's true. You and your husband got this thing going on. I love it. I love that he's right there. Yeah. He's not saying I'm the man of the house and I got to get the money and I got to be mm -hmm. the boss. We're going to get right it there. together. That's, that's yeah, the yeah, thing. We're going to get it together. That's, that's the work. thing. Yes. Yes, and so, so many people don't get into that. I wanted to keep still, y'all. I'm trying to get her. So don't text me again, David, telling me about the screen. It's not me. She's just excited. And she's like, you still. And V, and there's a testimony to her husband. Mm -hmm. um, when she said the orders are 100% fresh, she literally didn't start making and putting the stuff together until we made the order. Mm -hmm. As she was making her order, her husband jumped in. He fried fries. He moving the egg rolls around and grabbing for Her husband definitely got her back. Like, he wasn't just sitting there and keeping her company. Yeah, right he, there, say that. He rolled his sleeves up and got busy with her. Yeah, he get down and dirty with me in the kitchen. I love it. I love it. I love everything about it. Not to mention, I got to try the egg rolls, so I love them, too. Um, oh, Ebony I'm Harris said, hey, fam, I'm going to take an extended lunch and drive to Baltimore. Don't drive to Baltimore on Monday, Ebony, because she's not open, but she is open tomorrow, which is my birthday. Um, oh. Yes, ma'am. Miss Pisces. Yes. Okay. Um, so and tell them again your address and what time 1501 you're open. 1501 Addison Highway. I open from 430 to 1230. Okay. And Kia said, I want to try all of them. <laughs> all of them. I can't even pronounce it how she spelled it. All of them. Kia, they, they super delicious. Like I said, again, we got Star from Star's Kitchen in the building. So all we need right now is to do like a crack lemonade tea on the side. Yeah. This should be banging. This should be banging, but it's baby steps. She got a bill to that. But when yeah, she did. This is new for me. Yeah, yeah. Even though I work from out of my house, but it's a mm -hmm. whole different scenery. It yeah. is. It's different. Yeah. Yeah, and, it, and it's not easy when you're just starting out the business because you got it's certain things that, oh, I didn't know I had to do this. Mm -hmm. I didn't know I had to do that. And I just, I think I come in the part where you make the egg rolls on demand so you can substitute what you want and what you don't want. Because mm -hmm. egg rolls, when you go to like curry outs and stuff, they already you got, they already rolled. Mm -hmm. They just dipped it in the grease. They already, already dipped it. So these ones you brought today, nice and fresh, because it's they crispy. Are. I I, I, can I just made them. Remember yeah. when I told you yeah. that I was going to? Yeah, that's why I it's just, so warm. I just made them. Yeah, they're delicious, y'all. I think y'all should try them. Mike said, do you deliver? Yes, yeah, she delivered. Mm -hmm. tell, tell Mike the apps that you use for delivery. Um, Right now, I have Uber Eats. I'm waiting for my Grubhub and DoorDash apps to come, and then people will be able to order from off of that. But right now, that's what I'm doing. I'm ordering. I mean, you can order from Uber Eats. Okay, Mike, so she got Uber East at Star's Kitchen on Edison Highway. Give us the exact address. 1501 Edison Highway, Baltimore, Maryland, 21213. Say it one more time. 1501 Edison Highway, Baltimore, Maryland, 21213. Yes, she is, y'all. Go add her. Tamika said I'm stopping through tomorrow. Cousin, stop through. Pull up on me, y'all. Take the picture. Or go live in the building and say, I saw you on Straight Talk with Miss V and I had to get in here. Tag me in the post so I can tag her and we can tag the next customer because we're going to get this money. Mike said, damn, I don't have any of them. Well, Mike, you off in the evenings. You can ride over there. That's the good thing, Mike. She not, it's not a lunchtime spot. It's um She opens at 4. So it's evening. Y'all got this all day so you can get off work and still eat. Again, let me show y'all how, how the egg roll. This is the egg roll sampler tray. So this one doesn't have a different array of egg rolls. But, see, I can't even eat it in front of Mike. But, <laughs> but, Mike, they are delicious. Like, this is big, and this is half of the half that I ate. This is only half of a half. Mm -hmm. Kids said, stop it. Kid, I'm look at that kid. And it usually comes all, all crab. crab. Come with it's all crab. crab. Yes, too. I just didn't bring them. All crab. All crab. In the crab cake egg roll. No filling. No filling. Because okay. I be having people say, oh, did you, I taste this in it. And I'm like, no, you don't. Because I don't even put that in my egg roll. Right. Right. So that's people just trying to pick you through, pick out and see what you got going well, on. Well, I'm allergic. I'm, I'm allergic to a lot of stuff. What you put in your food? Um, Just tell me what you're allergic to. And, and I'll tell you. And that's what I won't that. put in your food. Right. How about that? I'm trying to keep it, y'all. I'm trying to keep it still here. Um... Mike said, um, she doesn't do lunchtime. No, she doesn't do lunchtime, Mike. She open at 4.30, and she's not open on Mondays, and she's open every other Sunday. Mm -hmm. Kids said, oh, my goodness, care friend. Meet me. Yo, you can't even get off the computer and meet me after the show, so I can let you know. 
Um, Mike said, Kim, I'm just going to go back to work. Yeah, because it make you want to make you feel a certain type of way. Because she's not even open today, but she got y'all tomorrow. Thanks, Star, for mm -hmm. coming in. We so appreciate you coming You're by. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Of course, of course. I, I mean, you know, I'm just here for black women, period. Women, period. I'm a woman supporter, and if this is um, Women's Month, right. so by all means, I have to have a woman in the building, but a black woman, it does something for me. It just, I don't know, it, just, it excites me. Kids said, Mike, I'm logging off too. Don't log off, y'all. We still got the show. We still got to cut up with our topics. Sean Barry Bay said, Crab and Shrimp are my favorite, but it's definitely a share box. Sean, I ate half of a half, and I had to put the rest down. By all means, they're going to be gone later because I know Mike going to want to try one. It's the guy stopped by Kells, let her try one. It's going down, but yes, it's, it's a definitely a share box. You have to share the sampler. And the good thing is, in the sampler, you can get more than two. She only brought two kinds in this one, but you can have more than two. You get four. You get to pick four different egg rolls, and you get a total of eight of them. Awesome. And it comes with fries. And fries. So, so like Rock said, how many days it took, Rock? Seven. Seven days. To finish three this. minutes in the air fryer. That's all it took. So every day you just pop it in, pop, spray pop it. Three minutes. There you go. And it tastes like I just got it from my restaurant. That shows you that ingredients are truly fresh. Yeah. They yeah. Don't because if she already had them pre wrapped and had them sitting for a Shops while, like by the time you try to air fry it, it ain't no good. Yeah. Three minutes in the air fryer. Gotta I keep it on point. Gotta keep it on point. Again, y'all, this is Star. From Star's Kitchen up on Edison Highway, open 432 to 12.30. 12.30. I mean, after midnight, real quick, you can run over there and get your food. Mm -hmm. She's there. She's in the building. Don't worry about if you're safe, because the police station across the street. Directly across the street. So you good. You're in good hands. Get up there to Star's Kitchen for your hot, fresh, and ready food substitute. How you like, because our egg rolls are not pre-rolled. They are freshly done on the spot when you place your order. Thank you so much, Star, You're for welcome. coming in this morning. Your commercial plays on our radio station. If y'all don't know, the information order menu, listen to, um, we'll play the commercial after the show air. And the voiceover that's on the commercial, the one, the one that she sounds wonderful. I love the commercial. I just love it. <laughs> that's because I did it. But, yeah, anyway, <laughs> it's awesome. Thank you, Star, for coming in. Okay, somebody else came back in the messenger and said, where are you located? So they didn't get to quite get the name yet. Tell them again where you located, Star. 1501 Edison Highway, Baltimore, Maryland, 21213. All right, so I'm going to also put it in the comments, guys. 1501 Edison Highway. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. There you go, and it's also in the comments. So if you don't know, look on my page and follow it in the comments. You also have a page. Tell them about your Facebook and your Instagram. My Facebook page is Stars Kitchen. My Instagram page is Star Stars underscore Kitchen 411. Look up. She's here for it. Follow us, social media, Instagram, Facebook, and her location of our restaurant, 430 to 1230, Tuesday through Saturday, every other Sunday, 4.30 to 12.30. That's Star's Kitchen. Thank you so much, Star. You're welcome. All right, so we got to get on with our show. Star, are you sticking around or you about to go? You want to stick around? Well, scoot on over a little bit. Let me get up here to talk to the people. Oh, my gosh, y'all. I'm so overwhelmed. This, this egg roll got me feeling like I want to lay down. But I'm not going to lay down on my folks. Y'all know I'm not. So I, we had we had a few um topics. Rock, tell me the number on here again. We had a few topics. Zero, uh, zero, zero. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Three, two, nine, six. We had a bunch of topics that came in the group um, over the weekend. And um, I apologize, guys, if I didn't get to them. But this was like my birthday selfish weekend. So we did that. Um, here, All right, so here we go. I'm going to go to the, the um, comments. And you are free to comment, to um, Star. Oh, okay. The first question, it was a repeat question, but since somebody sent it to the inbox again, I had to repost it again. The question is, do you take your ex back if they did you dirty and cheated and trust that it won't happen again? Would you take your ex back? Well, see, you, you're married, but we're saying... Hypothetical conversation. Before we got married, my husband has cheated on me before. 
And how did you handle that? Um, of course I was upset. Mm -hmm. I probably knocked him upside his head with something. Right. <laughs> but eventually, um, I, I forgave him. We worked on it. And you do have to gain that trust back. Yeah, and so was it was it um, hard? Like, you know how some women will do stuff like throw it in his face. You can't um, do this, you can't do that. Oh, I remember when you did this. No, I have done that before. Uh -huh. um, but that's because I was still hurt. Like, you never, like, you can forgive somebody, but you never forget. You never forget. And if they do one little thing that's off, you're going to automatically think all types of stuff in your mind. That they're back to that. So, right. Even if they not. Right. Yeah, because they can't be, but you just think, I remember that day you wore that red shirt. Where are you going to that red that, shirt? I mean, not saying that it's so detailed, but things like that happen. Right, their ways that change. Do, that do yeah. trigger, that certain things mm -hmm. trigger you. Rock, now let me ask you as a man, um, do you think that it's unfair that a woman would take you back and then bring up the faults that you did? Yes. At that point, if you're going to keep bringing it up and throwing it in my face, I'd rather you not forgive me and we just keep stay apart. You know, we could try to work on a friendship, but it's, but that's selfish. I'm, it's it's not selfish, but I'm gonna be if I'm gonna be persecuted for the crime over and over again. I only did the crime once. Let me do take my punishment and be done with it. You know, if you're gonna constantly like if you was to go out and kill somebody today, they say you're sentenced to ten years. You don't do the ten years, and they say, well, because you killed somebody before, we're gonna give you an additional five years. Don't keep adding on to my punishment. Whatever my punishment gonna be, let me do my punishment. So do she on. do you think she has the right to remember it's gonna ache or do you rather just stay away? Because you're the one who wanted to come back. Right. So do you think she should tell you no and yes. just leave you where you are? Yes, that's 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 for the best that's best for both of us. Not just me. It's not be me being selfish because I want her back. That's best for both of us because now she's a prisoner herself because she can't enjoy the relationship because she's always worrying about what's happening when we're apart. When we're not together. And that's not fair. She's never going to enjoy that relationship if she can't get past it. Well, I get it. Let's see what um, social media said. Mix Diamond said, no. <laughs> Just straight up, no. She didn't give an explanation. I asked, you know, why? She said, personally, I'm an overthinker. And I may want to forgive, but I won't. And if I have... If I have too much information, it will replay in my head, like you just said, mm -hmm. and um, cause doubts. I feel like it's better to just let it go and start fresh than to torture myself. Yeah, and then you torture another person because then they walking on eggshells, scared, afraid of, dang, if I do this, is she going to think I'm cheating? If I if I stay home. But they should have thought about that before they cheated. And you can't just cheat on somebody and be like, well, I'm sorry, and don't think that other person will bring it up again. It just True. don't work that way. True. You should think about that before you did it. That's like, true. that's crazy. How do you think, okay, because you apologize that we just supposed to, you're not supposed to hear nothing about it again. Right. No, it don't work that way. All right. well, see, so it's only fair. So she right. said, it's that only fair that, way, that right. you want to hear it again. Yeah, you you're you going are. to. The pain has not eased that quick. Now, I, I get it. And you know, I'm quick to always get slapped upside my head here on the station. But I want to say something. My favorite phrase is, for every effect is a cause. You know, yeah, he cheated. But can we can we visit why he cheated? Everybody just don't set up the, the cheat because they're a piece of shit. You know what I mean? So what would be the reasons why he would cheat? She would take him back and never mention it again. You tell me. And sometimes men cheat because of them, not because of the woman. Yeah, because they want to. You just said what? Sometimes right? alienation. So so she just he just feel like he's been alienated. He's away off by himself. And that's why he started cheating on his wife. Well, you know, she worked Monday through Friday. I worked Monday through Friday. So Saturday, I want to have some bay time. But she want to go hang out with Miss V. You so know, so Sunday. Can, is it only fair that she have time with her friends before you, like, why would you cheat? Because she get time with her friends. Because I'm Cause she gotta, to you, just, I need this time. And you still want to be with Miss V every Saturday. But that's something totally different, right? But the thing that's is, different. right, the thing is, she work all week too, so shouldn't she have a good time? Because if your boys call and say, yo, we're doing this, you ain't going to go with your boys? That's You You have that outlet sometimes, but your relationship has to be a priority. So I, I know I know if I worked all week, mm -hmm. and I know you worked all week, right. before I want to go hang out with John, John, and Ray Ray, I got to get, my first obligation is to my wife. 
I want to have that one-on-one -on -one time with her. Then maybe Sunday we can go catch a game. You know what I mean? The fellas can hang out Saturday night. But I need to, to have that personal connection with her that we didn't have all week. So you wouldn't understand that your wife, maybe stay, her and Miss V love the flea market. The flea market is only open Saturday mornings. You can't understand I can that she's going. It. Okay, yes. okay. I'm fine with that. So that's what I'm asking, because you sound like mm -hmm. because Hermes V got this dick that they go on every no, Monday. That's not, that's not are you me. feeling no. salty? No, that's not And I'm that's not what makes you that. cheat. I understand about because she can baby you after she leave the flea market. Exactly, because she's still giving me. She's still making me a priority. I'm starting to realize you are full rat. Everything you say sounds like you don't get cuddled enough. I don't get cuddled enough. Whoever rock make is, can you please cuddle him? What's his own exercise? Scorpio. Oh. That's why. Oh, see, I don't know how the sounds work, but I got to be something because he's a cuddler. Um, Arnetta said, a man don't have to have a reason to cheat. That's right. the same thing Miss Starr just said. Um, Can we right. say people because men and women cheat? She yes, knows. She said, women. a man don't have a reason to cheat. Arnetta, in, explain to Rock why you said men and not women because he's getting lost. Real quick, um, Bunny is talking. Um, Bunny said, both parties need to be ready to do the work to make it work. And trust me, the cheating issue will be raised again. It will come up again. Mm -hmm. And I think that's all funny. I actually did that. It's just the automatic feeling in your gut. Right. Like, I, I got to vomit, but I can't. Mm -hmm. uh, and until I get it out, it's going to keep coming up. Mm -hmm. And you can choke it back as much as you want. A lot of times, you might not even say that out loud, but then something will slip up. They had not text you right back. Oh, you must be over somebody's house. Yeah. You may say something slip real quick. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, mm -hmm. y'all could be talking. Oh, well, babe, what took you so long to pick up the phone? You with somebody? And they be like, well, what you talking about? You saying I'm cheating? No, I'm just asking. But really, that was your cut. I'm cutting you because, nigga, I know you cheated before and you do it again. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't own up to it because I'm a cutter. I am a cut. I yeah. will cut. I will cut. Yeah, my mind. I don't even, not even just in relationships. I mean, Ross was just talking about that this morning. I, uh, me and Eddie was talking about that this morning. I said, I'm a cut. I will cut somebody with some words quick because I feel like let me cut you and let me go ahead and walk away and I ain't giving you a chance to reply um Arnetta said that's not always true Rock I agree with you Miss V so I guess you're cuddling and the fact that men cheat for no reason at all Rock you are in the wrong Rodney Pierce said leave Rock alone why we can't torture Rock Hey, I know Rodney. My point of view. Thanks, um, buddy hey, said Ron. he agreed. Um, buddy said the trust has been broken. Yes, and it's very hard to go back yeah. to the main. Even nature. though you know you got all this love for him, it is really hard to go back. They really have to work they and make, not think yeah. that you're ever going to hear this again. Mm -hmm. It's going to come up, even if it's a slip of the tongue, just something slick is going to come up because that trust been broken. And I'm a type of person that I'm leading, giving you all the trust going in. And so the as soon number as you one do something wrong, do, I'm wearing you out. Yeah, and the number one thing not to do, don't go out and cheat because they cheated. Because the relationship is totally doomed at that point. Well, men has a, with men, they can dish it out, but they can't take can't it. Can't take it. We and I were, Definitely. I, I definitely agree with that. that. We can. No, definitely agree. We can. Yeah, we can. We definitely can. So why do it if you don't want it done? Right. That's that's the, that's the big question right there. Because anything you can do, I can do better. Now, um, Arnetta said, because a man has to feel like they the man at all times, and when and wherever they can get that attention, they go take it and then apologize to their mate later. A man will a man will cheat just to see if they got it. LOL. Now, now tell me that ain't true, Rock. Men yeah. cheat just to see how how strong their arm is. No, yeah. She ain't giving me your attention. Let me see somebody else. How? And as soon as you get that attention, that girl, oh, baby, because, yeah, I like them yellow boys on motorcycles. He go, right, I got three motorcycles. <laughs> I got three motorcycles. <laughs> what you trying to do? That's what men do, right? Come on. Right, I'm trying not to get on them, but it's so easy. I'm Can sorry. I, I, um, wait a real quick. Let me read on Bunny comment. She said, it's few. Few is in the Hussie Malone blood. And leave Rock alone. Yes, ma'am. You so lucky on Bunny Jump in. <laughs> I want to say something. And I say this. I've said it multiple times. Anybody that's had a conversation with me about this topic know. What happens is, you know, hypothetically, let's say it's ten things that we want out of a relationship. Right? I say keep it real, Rock. I, I am. Oh, buddy, that's not me. It's on that. Okay. Um, so say hypothetically it's ten things we want out of a relationship. Uh-huh. Right? We meet someone and they give us seven of those qualities, right? Right. 
And we were like, okay, this is the one for me because I got majority of things I want. Right. Not recognizing that there's still three things that we're not getting. So do you think that you should go get them three things and then come home to your seven? No. And that's that's what we end up doing. And that's why the cheating occurs. Because we have the seven. Men want to go get the three. Yeah, the three. And they, they don't So basically be, what Arnetta said, men just want to do it because they want but to. But I'm talking about people. I'm not talking about men or women. So you're saying people. men or women. I don't think that's why women cheat. It's one, it's women one cheat reason. with one exact intention for whatever the reason is that she want to do it. Women do. I, I can't put the game all on the table. I can and I will. Um, Rodney Pierce said, but you you can't live in the past and hold it over my head forever. Rodney Pierce, I agree with that. Yeah, me too. You can't hold it over their head and keep on bringing it up. Right. Oh, because you cheated. Oh, because right. you cheated. Because now I'm going to leave because now you be. I hate for somebody to badger me with words. Don't keep poking at me, telling me, you did this, you said that, why you do this? Because then I'm going to explode, and then nobody ain't going to have no relationship. Yeah. I will walk away from a relationship quicker than I stand there and argue and try to sort out what's wrong. And I don't and I don't think that is a good thing, but it's a Miss V thing. And and I, gotta t and I tell people my background, you know, look, I've been, you know, married and you know, mental abuse, and I've been, you know, seeing my mother get murdered by a husband that, that treated her good and didn't see it coming. There's a lot of things why I got trust issues I have. So at this point, if somebody poking at me, get your fucking finger off of me because I'm about to blow up and I go off. And once I blow up, now you want to talk and I can't use my fucking words at this point. Mm -hmm. See how I'm cussing now? I'm, I'm angry thinking about this shit. Right. I'm angry thinking about this shit. Um, real quick over social media, um... Mike said, women cheat more than men. That's why women so secret with their phones and social media. I agree with Mike. I don't agree with that. Like like, that too. And I'm going to explain why I don't agree with you on Mike, Ryan. Yeah. Um, Kim Kim Butler said, I tell everybody, my, pan, my pants is like my ass. It's behind me. Oh, she said her pants. 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 Her pants is like her ass. It's behind her. Um, Mike said, that's not good. What's not good, Mike, not to like to be poked? Because I said something about poking. Let me know because I'll tell you why. I just don't like to agitate. Don't agitate. Mm -hmm. It's just plain and simple. Everybody has triggers. Right. And if you know you make triggers, give them 50 feet. Mm -hmm. Give them some space. You know. Um, or don't follow them around the house and keep wanting to fuss with them when they just told you to leave them Or keep calling their phone. Right. Say, I done, I done, I done, right. Now I'm going to block you now. Who blocks their mate? It's right. unfair. Right. But you block them because you just want them to you stop. Needed that. Because you needed that. Mentally, you need you it. Need, yeah. You snap. Because you needed that. You know, I always say, I'm on that said, I don't agree with that. I'm not sure what you don't agree with. On that, tell me what you, part you didn't agree with. My thing is this. If you are poking and agitating a person and you got to be blocked. I have, like, in my past, I have got the phone call my mother was shot. I got it through over the phone. My Uncle Leroy's son died. So we got the call from a neighbor who knocked on the door. They had to call me to go tell my mother. Like, phone calls to me, my niece, Quisha, that I helped raise, I found out she died in a car accident over the phone. Phone calls to me are detrimental. Mm -hmm. and if I got to block you or put my phone on silent, I got an issue because now you got me missing anything major that can come through my phone. All because you didn't understand that I needed a fucking moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now, I'm even more mad. Right. When you should know you're mad. I should already know. You know what, star grade flip. Let me go here. I'm up, babe, I'm out. I'm going to leave out. Mm -hmm. And what you going to say, go ahead. Right. Because you want the space. Yeah. Why not you give get you the, yourself together? Why not give you the space that you know you need? Um, Mike said that's fucking crazy. What's crazy, Mike? Uh, that is said, Mike's comments. Um, she don't agree with my comments. So we're going to go back to my comment. He said, women cheat more than men. That's why women so secret with the phones and social media. So, I don't know. We're we both two women, so I guess we could answer that. Mm -hmm. I don't hide anything secretive in my phone. No, me neither. My, to me, my phone is mine. Mm -hmm. I think going through my phone is like going in my purse. What the fuck? Are you stealing? Right. Like, or... Do you not trust your mate so much that you want to go through my phone? If you don't trust me, then you shouldn't even be, we shouldn't even be together. Mm -hmm. it, it all starts with something. If you don't trust your mate, y'all shouldn't be together. If you got to sneak and go through somebody's phone, you shouldn't be together. When it comes to social media, social media is simply that. Social media is entertainment. Right. So you can say anything, long hair don't care, and it's always 
one random person that's going to post, that's going to come into your comments and say, I like to pull that long hair. It ain't nothing your mate can do about it. And you might not even know them. You might not even know the person. Right. Or if you know the person, they could be just laughing because that's what the phrase make them think. Put, look, y'all don't say stuff like, well, you can delete it because you don't want to offend your mate. But the thing is, like me, in radio, I can post a million and one things. But right. it's what I'm doing. It's entertainment. It's all um, for the show. Chris, um, Mike said everything you're saying. So I guess every, Mike said everything I'm saying is crazy. Arnetta said everything Mike's saying is crazy. Arnetta said, Miss V, say it. So I'm saying it for you, So that Arnetta. must have happened to Mike. That's what I'm wondering. Yeah. So he must. So Mike, that's a question for you. Have you had issues where your mate hit stuff in the phone or had private things going on on social media? Is that why that bothers you? Or do you do that? Right. It's something. So your mate is found something. out mm -hmm. through social media or looking at your phone. Let us know. Um, Rodney Pierce said, women need to check themselves. Because if you open that possibility to a man, you are just as guilty. The possibility of what? Right. Cheating? When, women don't just randomly walk around cheating, I don't think. When, it is so easy for women to cheat and have sex with somebody if they want to. Because mm -hmm. men want trying to jump her bones all day, every day. Mm -hmm. So if she had not cheated on you, you should be real... Um, Real happy, cause if, if sex get thrown at women, gifts, um, comments, compliments, anything get thrown at women all day. So I can't say women are just out here just cheating just because they come along. That's not true. I'm um, Kim Kim Butler said, and if there's something that I'm I'm lacking, let me know. If you feel like you want to go out and cheat, go ahead and do what you need to do. I'm not your mother. It's all about respect, and that's the men and the women. Mm -hmm. That's what, that's the bottom line. It's all about respect. Well, I feel like a lot of people get in these relationships and they forget being friends matter. Yeah. And so now you boyfriend and girlfriend, so now you can't talk to your girlfriend about the stuff that you was talking to her before, before y'all even got committed. So now... The stuff that you really want to express to her and tell her what you don't like. You can't tell her now. You can't tell her now. Exactly. And if you do tell her now, she mad. She not even open-minded to try to even listen to what you're saying because now she in her field. Right. Instead of putting her feelings to the side and be like, look, we two friends. We talking as friends. Now. And that's the thing. A lot of people don't talk as friends. You no. can't tell. Some people, you can't tell your mate. This is how I feel as a friend. Right. Because then they're looking at you sideways. Right. A lot of men... I'm saying men because I'm a woman. I'm speaking for women. A lot of men don't even want their um, woman to have a male good friend outside right. of them. You know why? I think that's insecurity because for them then be or a distrust. Yeah. Why? Because that's what you would do with your female friend? Now, and then when you ask them that, they say you're crazy. Mm -hmm. But that's the that's the thing. That's the thing. Um, um, Patrick Swayze said, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do what? What are you saying? Um, Mike said, so why do women cheat? more than men. I never said men, women cheat more than men. My point is women will cheat better than men. Yeah, yeah. Differently than so men. don't get her in speaking. a place that she needs to cheat because women can cheat way better than you. Mm -hmm. So if you got a woman, so what I'm saying is if you got a woman that don't cheat, you need to be happy and go ahead on and sit your ass down. Somebody get off her social that. media and leave her phone alone because she feel like you prying on her and now she feel like you hiding your shit mm -hmm. and now she going to do stuff. And most times that's how it works. And that's how it be. Mm -hmm. Because if you keep eyeing my phone, what you eyeing my phone for? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why you eyeing my phone? Mm -hmm. And then I, I'm, I'm silly. But I, I do, shit like, I do shit like turn my phone like this or put my phone face down so you can't see it, just so I can see the huff and the pop. But you ain't going to tell me why I turned my phone down because you don't want me to know that you was looking. Right. But it don't even be nothing on my phone. Like my granddaughter will text, and she is only four, but get her mother to send me pictures. And she had a father's text Bama, tell her I need to come to her house. Like, this is my dog. My granddaughter is my dog. But she will text like crazy. But I, it could be her text me, and I lay the phone down, and I, I make the, just to, so I can get the reaction. Look at you. Mm -hmm. But you ain't going to say nothing, but you don't realize like I'm looking at picking. you, and That's I'm fucking picking. laughing. Yeah. I'm picking. Yeah. I'm picking yeah. on the low, because mm -hmm. if you wasn't looking at my phone, mm -hmm. that shouldn't have bothered you that I put my phone face down. Right. Stop. Or oh, he should have just asked. 
Can it just be that we got such a good thing and we don't want nobody else to share our good thing? Yeah, but stop doing the shit you doing with your good thing. Stop thinking you can go out with your friends, but when she ready to go out with her friends, where you going? When you be back? Baby, text me when you get there. Text me when you leave. Then you text her while you're there. Baby, are you okay? Did you eat? What the fuck? Oh, ah! text but the whole time they with their friends. You don't call not one time. Not one time. You come back, baby. Y'all had fun? Yeah. How was James? I know yeah. James was funny. You be wanting to make sure you had a good time. We don't care. But y'all niggas, what you doing? Da, 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 da. That's because while y'all out, y'all doing shit. And y'all thinking we not we not paying attention. We know. We know when y'all doing wrong and when you're not. It's just when we get tired of it is when we react. Um, Bunny said, if you if you have agreed to stay together, leave the past in the past. Women cheat for revenge. Once they have been cheated on, don't go looking for trouble. If something is going on, it will be revealed men will slip up a woman's intuition will kick in i definitely agree with aunt bunny i got divorced for those same reasons you know if you gotta ask yourself i wonder if he cheating baby he cheating mm -hmm. ain't no whole lot to that but women will talk themselves out of it knowing that they have that man well some of them shit. do because they want they, they want to keep that man and that's that goes to her insecurities mm -hmm. Her low self-esteem, why she talk herself out of it. But sis, you know, you know, you get that intuition, you get that feeling in your stomach. Mm -hmm. I can look at a picture from ten posts ago and say, "Yup, look at you. That's what you was doing that day." Mm -hmm. And then he look at me like, "How you figure it out? Cause I ain't stupid." A woman know you if y'all are together and y'all been together. She know where you wrong. So if a lot of times you did shit and she ain't said nothing, be happy because she let that one slide. Right. Cause she know. Do you agree that a 25-year-old man and a 45-year-old man are two different men? Um, they, I believe they can be two yeah. different men, yes. So, if you have a 25-year-old man, and when he say, Babe, I'm going by the gym, we're going to play hoops or something like that, and he was out with Melissa, right? Uh-huh. Is it possible for that same man at 45 to say, Baby, I'm going out with Ray Ray, and then we're going to play some hoops, that he's really going to play some hoops? Yeah, I believe. The, see, the thing is, it's not about how old he is. Yeah, it's I believe your, your your mate can go and shoot some hoops, even if it's with Melissa, Darka, Teresa, Tracy, Amber. Have a ball. Right, but the point I'm trying to make is people change. Oh, yeah, people yeah, change. Yeah, and they do. I'm saying yeah. people change, but I'm saying if he's 25 or 45, either way, he can go hang out with Melissa because that's his dog. 45-year-olds cheat too, honey. Better than the 25s. Because they got a little bit more to offer, a little bit more sneaky ways to go to. Why are they cheating? We don't know. Because they want to. Um, Rodney Pierce said any of it. Um, Kim Kim Bucket said, I take six months to get to know somebody. And then they take another six months to get to know the other motherfucker. Because what we do sometimes tell people what we're looking for. Um, and then they'll... Sorry, it's a little long. And then they'll become that person for you a minute and eventually the real them come out, and that's both ends. You I always agree. get the representative. Yeah, I agree, because a lot of people be like, oh. Even when you go back to an yeah, yeah. you get the representative, yeah, yeah. and you look at the behavior like, oh, he, hey, you know, never changed. Bitch, you ain't changed. Yeah. Look for that. Mm -hmm. You still that same agitating motherfucker. That, say that, the agit get in this camera to right. start say that. Do that face again. Motherfucker. That's the agitating yeah. motherfucker. I yeah. like that. Rodney said, flirting games in the windows, talking behind your, your girl's back. So all of that is considered cheating. Don't yeah. flirt. Don't talk to women. Don't and touch the water. And don't talk to another woman about your woman if you got a problem with her. Come to your woman like a man and talk to her. And, and if it's your bestie, my thing is I can get people having a bestie. No, it don't talk. be like that. You be having right. a man talking who, to the women who they're trying to right. get with. Right. So Why are you telling her? Right. So of course she won't be the opposite of everything you're talking about because she wants you. Hello. If she wants you bad enough. Uh, I'm going to not have a comment on that. Um, Mike said, I don't hide nothing. Um, Patrick Swayze said, yeah, they do. Mike said, so why do women cheat um, more than men? Oh, they call it the God. same comments. Mike said, that's a damn lie. That's a lie. Women call the man out, but don't call when she out with her friends. The thing is, Mike Nobody should have to call and check in. I don't know who Mike used to deal with. Me. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> put that on something. 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 I'm sorry, Star is the only one on the show who didn't know that. Sandra Moore, good morning. Phoebe, sidebar, real quick. Me and Kevin trying to call you. We had some funny stuff. Oh, we 
I shared with you on the three way call. We're gonna call you after my show. But anyway, um, yeah, star. I don't, I'm not sure what the thing is on the show today, but I'm not that person that's gonna call. 50 times to see what you're doing. But I also don't want you to call me 50 times. Okay. It's not about, am I cheating? Because I'm not a cheater because I'm not a good liar. Okay. I'd rather say, look, don't call me back. Look, this is over. And Mike can vouch good or bad if I'm telling the truth. I'll end it before I cheat. Okay, yeah. Because you know what? Cheating is too much. That's a whole fucking job. You got to keep up with your lie. And you're not going to remember your lie because it's a lie. There you go. See, now here's the, another thing men don't realize. Just because you cheat on your woman with me, don't mean when I get in a relationship, I'm going to cheat on my man with you. No, I'm, I'm telling the truth over here. Yeah. I, was, I wasn't with nobody while you was telling the truth. Mike said big facts. Big facts on what, Mike? I don't know. But, um, no, I'm just, like, I think Mike should have a good time. He did brunch yesterday with friends, and they got a female best friend to hang with them and she t she said hi I said tell her I said hi I didn't know women were going he was like yeah well you know she go everywhere and that was the end of it and and I so you didn't even know she went everywhere no I would say he left that out well I mean well I've heard it before but I didn't know that she was going to the brunch but it still didn't put no insecurities in me oh okay because at the end of the day I know I'm a bad bitch and you know what you got and I know yeah see I know what I'm holding mm -hmm. And he knows that, too. And he knows that, too. And that's the big deal. So if he dare to think cheating is something he want to try or he just might get away with something, knock yourself out. But I'm telling you, when you strike out, baby. It's going to be 80-20. That's what a lot of men do, 80-20. Always. That's the same thing Rock was saying about the 7 and the 3. Mm -hmm. It's always the 80-20 that they miss. Um, uh, Rodney Pierce says, so Mike is right. Women are just... As bad as men. Women are not just as bad, but they can be, right? Yeah. People. Now, you do it's have a women that are just like men. Adrian said, Good morning. That's funny. Hey, Adrian, good morning. Uh, Bunny put the face up like, I don't know, I'm sick of it. Um, um, Kim Kim Butler said, I smoke too much. You need to tell a lie. I can't remember shit. You got to tell the truth from the jump. I say tell the truth because, you know, what What can come of it? Either they're going to leave or they're not. Or they not. Mm -hmm. Why lie? Tell me the truth. Let me say how I want to deal with the truth. Because right. nine times out of ten, I'm a person who don't hold on to stuff because I just believe God just don't want you to hold anger in your heart. I'm going to let it go. Healthy. I'm going to let it go after a while anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, I will mistreat you just a little bit. And I feel don't like get the kid wrong. I will mistreat you a little bit about when it. When they tell you the truth. When they tell you the truth, I can respect you. And then you're going to believe it because you're going to be like, oh, he ain't have no reason to lie to me no other time. So right. why would he be lying that? Why would you lie to that? Right. Yeah, um, real quick, the um, Tony said, good morning. Big Mike said, big facts. Um, ending shit. I'm not sure what that means. Um, Patrick Swayze said, stop threatening a man. Um, Tamika said, Yes, the truth. The truth is always good because it makes it always good. Mike said, I'm leaving y'all. Have a great show. I love my Miss V to death. I wouldn't ruin that for anything in the world. Great job, Mike. Good comeback. I love yeah. it. You caught yourself landing right on your feet. That's what I mean. Don't tell me a bunch of bullshit. Show me. Fall out like a cat. Fall out the tree landing on your feet. Then I'll be impressed. Right. You just impressed me, Big Mike. I love it. I love it. Yes, y'all. Oh, my gosh. We got 10 seconds, so y'all know what time it is at 11.59 and now 53 seconds. It's time for us to go. We had a great topic, and we had Star's Kitchen in the building tomorrow. We got Miss Keisha, Miss Honey Pie in the building tomorrow, and the topic is going to be about these women who, I don't know if you heard of it, Star, saying, um... The fuck you, bitch, but they spelling it P-H-Y or something. Yeah. It's just something crazy. It was on Instagram. Another um, viewer sent it to me and told me he think I should watch it. I watched it. And we're going to do a show on it tomorrow. We, It is what it is. And when we have Star back in the building next time, we're going to get different. Um, I, I ain't rules, y'all. We just gonna tell y'all cash and y'all money. Send the money to cash and I'll cash up it to her. And yeah, that's what we doing. We loading up. It's your girl, Miss V, with our girl Star's Kitchen in the Be building. Y Tell me your address one more time, Star. 1501 Edison Highway. And what's your social media? Star's Kitchen for Facebook and for Instagram is Star's underscore Kitchen 411. Get at her. Arrow Heaven. And it's your girl. And no more. Oh, 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 oh. See, Rock can't never just hit the beat when it's time. I'm letting you get it all out. Rock, right, it's out. I'll be prolonging for you. This is bro. Ho. This is bro. And yo, Tim, man, this is Jump Off. She been gone.
I'm warming and then she back with the jump balls like, oh, 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 miss me, give it any way you want. We all got a little freak in his jump front. Oh, she talking all the topics. Ah, oh, come on, be stopping. Oh, oh, hey, what? Not even haters can knock it. Oh, 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 oh.